What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you. Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was. Until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh... Hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Oh, toot. Oh, toot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard. 
Uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu, the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Bye, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower! Bring now it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you Give that back hat. to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> oh, such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. <laughs> Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. Oh, Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. What are you looking at? Well, hmm. 
have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. The tree hair. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Uh -huh. Hey, let me help you out with that. Uh, hey, Martin, why don't you try to find a spring? Uh -huh. Or otherwise, uh, our water will run out. Uh, all right, all right, go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, feeling! Uh, Wake up already! Uh, hey, feeling! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's see if we can find some food. What's that strange animal? <laughs> animal. That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal, and there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called kangaroos. They jumped around the earth, and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo, and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone, which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish, and afterwards, he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes. Uh-huh. But where do we find it, Spike? Uh, um, hey, that's it. Look over there. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Hi there. You're a good jumper. Look what I can do. Huh. Huh. Oh, wow. That was cool. I am Marnik. But who are you? They call me Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby, the best jumper in Australia. Uh, well, soon I'll be the best jumper. Huh, huh. <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here. Oh! Back into Mama's pouch. Back in the pouch. Back in the pouch, but I can jump all by myself. I'm big now. <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch, even if it were just once. Huh, I've got an idea. You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! 
Oh, we're never gonna make it up there. All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's gonna show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is gonna get us out of here. <laughs> Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey, Spike, maybe he can help us? Hey, that's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo, what's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there, now that's where it's at, my little friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go, huh, wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. The wallaby stone? Oh, come on, let's go, Milky. We gotta wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me. Just come down the same way you got up there. It's easy. Jump, hop, jump, hop. But we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey! Bye bye. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles. Hold on, but wait for me. Why are you leaving me all alone? Uh, uh, Mama! Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No! No, 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 oh, no! Oh, you're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride me in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's all practicing as we speak. Mama! <gasps> Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> for helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. <laughs> Goodbye. Kids! Bye. Bye. Goodbye! We'll see you! Thank you! Bye. 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 Bye! Thank you so much, everyone! Come back soon! We'll <laughs> jump on the highest eucalyptus tree 
together! <laughs> I want to make a wish! I want treasure! I want all the no, treasure! I want a ship! I want no, it all. I want treasure! <laughs> no, wait! Quiet, everyone! I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe! Ready? Hold, hold. Ah, oh, okay, I get it, fine. I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby. That little baby must have already made a wish. He went and wasted our wish. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years. We failed. Huh. Let's get out of here. Hoot hoot, mice, 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 The funny cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one. And whoa! Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. <laughs> oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good Friend all around will hear that great sound. Come on and sing now. Feel free to take a chance. Sing and do it round. Meanwhile, you dance. Come on, don't be sound. You can join in our fun. Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go Rawr. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Rawr. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and he has the nerve to go and laugh at us? 
actually only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music! Hmm. I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Rah! Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> Now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, now, this is my forest too. You can do it! It's almost like dancing! Come on, dance away! Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no! <laughs> what? see who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. 
And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend, you dumb little animal. Come on! Did you really trip I, him up? I, I, uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello? This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys, look over there. There she is. Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're really good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. Uh, oh, who's there? Uh, huh? You're so cute. Who are you? Uh, Don't be scared. My name is Yara, and this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. Ah, <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen for fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. I make delicious aromas called Pasaroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. <sighs> That is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Ah, oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, Without warning, the great flood carried him off to sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on. Don't miss out. Come get your different fragrances. All are most wonderful. They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery. Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa. Don't forget that name now. Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia. Ew. This one smells... <clears throat> Not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is black cardamom, guava steam, David Sonia, manuka, and of course, macadamia. Uh, I don't know. Somehow passes just seem kind of <sighs> so much better. Uh-huh, passas are better. Passas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? Uh, don't pay attention to him. Oppa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me, so I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls. A real bath. A nice warm bath. <laughs> oh. The flowers are sick. Fungus! It's a fungus! They're all gone! It's a sunny fungus! It'll destroy all the flowers soon enough. And if there aren't any flowers, then there won't be any pasarama either. Or spas. Or aroma baths. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Uh, is there any way that we can cure it? 
Cure it? That's a great idea. We can cure the flowers from the fungus. I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... we could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, um, maybe, um, maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem! I'm ready! Let's do this! Uh, wait! I forgot to take my baskets back inside! I'll do it! Don't you worry! <laughs> Well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys! This is Pasa! <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. So cool! Over there! That's them! Look! It's the magical monkey cups! Someone <laughs> ah! ah! help me! <gasps> Pasa! Don't move! <laughs> Don't go anywhere near these plants! They're dangerous! Let me give you a hand. <laughs> Sister, you've gotten so big. I can't believe my eyes. We all thought you were lost. <clears throat> well, thankfully, I didn't drown in the great flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole. Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen. And they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it! Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma, Pasa, uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? Ah. <laughs> Opa, stop! 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 Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! A mouse! Hoot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh, no! Opa! We have to save him! <laughs> well, little sis, are you ready? Like when we were kids! <laughs> Well, I can't see anything. I can't see. I can see. I can see again. Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, 
Possum wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all and their souls filled with envy, spoiling even the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. The recipes were all but forgotten, so King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa! Hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a <laughs> bath? But of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now, now that, that is, is a real royal, royal aroma. aroma. <laughs> the secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear. I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel. duel. <laughs> 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 oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick, pack it up, don't be stingy. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! Ah! Oot, oot, my soup, oot, 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 my soup, my What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned. Better run away or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I 
tale of scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown off to eat something. Helen! Hello! If we let spots and stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. Uh -huh. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, We'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> hey, don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Spike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, we'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. 
The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Fillin. One, two, and pull! Oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Oh, Come help us! <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never, ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Hoot. Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. 